Hi, you're watching TechCrunch TV. My name is Colleen Taylor. Here with me in the studio, I'm very pleased to have all the way from Seattle, Glenn Kelman, who's the president and CEO of Redfin, the real estate search and online brokerage company. Hey, thanks for having me. Thanks for thanks for coming by. Um, so we have tons to talk about just for Redfin in we general um, as a company. Uh -huh. um, but just to get started, I know today you launched a new Yes. Social feature collections. Yes. It's. It, I. I looked at it today. It's a little Pinteresty. It's got a lot of pictures, a lot of things to click on. Tell me what this is. Well, we just realized that real estate's a spectator sport, so people can collect photos of pretty homes, gorgeous kitchens, beautiful pools, and share that with their friends. We would have used Pinterest or another social network, except real estate is also really private, and sellers are touchy, and listing agents need credit. So, we had to do it in a way that appeased all the rubberneckers who love to stare at pretty pictures of homes but still gave proper credit and control to the people who are selling those homes. Great. And so can you go into a little bit more? That's interesting to hear that, that there's a reason that you didn't do it with this third-party social network. Uh -huh. What is it about collections that is that protects this data uh -huh. more? Well, it's not like a pretty dress or a plate of chicken that you order at a restaurant and take a picture of. It's somebody's house. You can see their bathroom. You can see their bedroom. And so after the home sells, some people don't want those pictures showing up on the web anymore because they're worried somebody will break into the house. And when you show those pictures, you need to give credit to the person who walked from room to room with a camera and took the pictures and uploaded them. And usually that's the listing agent or a photographer that he hired. And so we are part of an industry where people are really careful about privacy and control, and we just wanted to do this in a responsible way. Right. And I also want to ask, because this is your launch today, but you guys have kind of been on a roll getting things out, I guess, before the holidays, just recently yeah. or something well, else. Yeah, it's a big push because the selling season starts in January. So the other thing that we did is mobile tours, where we basically let someone look at a home, and while they're standing in front of it, request a real estate agent to come by and show it to them. And it's a little tricky because we have to make sure that you're not a mass murderer. We're going to send a human being who works for Redfin out there, and we just want to make sure that both parties are safe. But since we shipped that, more homes have been added to tours from our mobile devices than have been added from web browsers. And that's a big change for us because it's already a very large scale business. So to have that kind of impact this late in the game is amazing. And you just talked a bit about the, the people who work, the human beings who, who work yes. for Redfin. Explain to me, um, it seems to me like this is sort of maybe what differentiates you guys from the Trulias uh -huh. and Zillas. Uh -huh. And can you get a bit into what is different about Redfin? Yeah, well, it's a totally different business. When we were raising money, we had to explain to every venture capitalist right at the outset one freaky fact about Redfin, which is that we employ real estate agents, hundreds of real estate agents. And part of what makes us special is that we have the best real estate search site on the web, but we want to do the whole friggin' thing and take people through the whole transaction with a real estate agent you can trust, somebody who's on your side. So they've got to be an employee. We pay them to do the right thing. We pay them to put the customer first, just like on Yelp or Amazon, their reviews, and that's how they get paid. If you aren't happy, they ain't happy because they're not going to make any money. So that's what's really different about Redfin. We think the media opportunity is a significant opportunity in real estate, but that the brokerage opportunity is 20 times bigger. If you want to change the whole game and give people an agent who's really on their side, save them thousands of dollars, deliver better service, you've got to do the whole thing. And that's what Redfin does. So is this something, though, that has gotten you a little bit more uh, criticism <laughs> from real estate agents? Because I'd imagine you know, this, this uh -huh. big army of Redfin agents, uh, a lot of real estate agents work semi-independently, or they work for certain real They're estate firms. They're mostly contractors. Right. And so, um, so this is a totally different model. And it's a double-edged sword. On one hand, Zillow and Trulia, their customers are real estate agents. That's how they make money. And real estate agents are our competitors. But on the other hand, we're one of them. So when somebody says, well, do you really know what it's like to walk a customer through a home, to write an offer? We do. We've walked a mile in those shoes. And I think what's interesting about our business now is that a lot of the technology is still what you can see. It's still searching for homes on a map or seeing pretty pictures of a property. But a lot of it is underneath the surface where we're trying to make the escrow process and the home tour and the listing process, the things that you only see when you become a customer, way better. And doing that with mobile tools, doing that with tablets, doing that with 
your browser is a big deal and it just takes a lot of work. And you're talking about how well this is doing. Are there any numbers you can give me? Um, revenue, um, I would love to hear. <laughs> Redfin is a very large scale business. So we're doing more than $50 million in revenue this year. Um, we think this can be a very large independent company over time. Uh, we only have 1% share or less in most of our markets, even though we've been growing like a weed. You've just got $60 billion of fees paid to real estate agents every year. So even if uh, you double and double and double again, um, there's a lot of headroom. Okay. And I also want to ask, because some of your competitors, which we just talked about, Trulia, uh, uh -huh. Zillow, they've gone public recently. Yeah. Is that something that's on your radar? I mean, you talk about double-digit million revenues. It sounds like you're getting... Uh, well, two things. First of all, they're not really our competitors. They're media companies. I mean, we embed Zestimates in our website. So if you're trying to figure out which website to use for search, you should use Redfin because we have 20% more listings. We get them a week faster. But otherwise, we just don't overlap with those guys. They're selling to real estate agents, and we're really serving consumers. I do think that this can be an independent, publicly traded company. It was built from the start to be that way. We have no ambition to be bought by anybody. I don't know when it's going to happen. Um, it doesn't behoove me to talk about that. <laughs> Uh, but I do think that it's just a great business, and it's just going to keep growing and growing and growing probably for the rest of my natural life. Now, you sound very bullish, um, yeah. but when we talk about IPO things and, every, and, and when you say we're going to be a standalone company, I guess it, it uh -huh. means eventually public markets to return that money to your investors. But yeah. uh, we keep hearing from people out there that uh -huh. consumer Internet, you know, that this uh -huh. is a slowdown. Here, I mean, do you worry that you've missed your window? How are you seeing the um, consumer internet? Well, I don't think you should try to time the capital markets because you can go on file and then three months later everything can go to heck in a handbasket. But I also think that the slowdown in the consumer internet is real for media companies. You have to get to 100 million visitors to be a real business. But it's not the case for commerce companies, and it's not the case for sort of hybrid businesses like Redfin. Uh, if you look at Fab or Zulily or any number of commerce companies, they're doing very well with much smaller amounts of traffic. And in some ways, the media company's pain is our gain, that we can just get traffic at lower cost as some of the consumer internet companies in the media space struggle. So I think there's great businesses in the consumer internet side of the house. But there's also great businesses on the other side, and that when people talk about what's going on with the consumer internet, they just assume that the consumer internet consists exclusively of media companies. And there's got to be more to what we're doing in Silicon Valley than just running ads for other people. Like the reason I came here was to change the game, to be disruptive, to walk down the street and make traditional industries shake in their boots. And I think if you're just a media company, it's harder to do that. Whereas if you really try to deliver the actual service to a customer, it's easier. And both are great businesses. I just think this one's more fun, and it can be a lot bigger. And I want to talk a bit about the real estate market as well, because you're See, sort of completely in there. Yes. What are, what are you seeing? And you said it's, it's obviously cyclical, so you know it's uh -huh. going to start to pick up again in January. Uh -huh. But what kind of trends are, are you seeing? Uh, well, I'm going to sound like a real estate broker here. And just to establish my street cred, I feel like there have been times when we've emailed our entire customer base and said, the real estate market's like a fat man who can't get up. The market's going to lose another 10%. Don't buy a house now. Uh, but right now, it might not be such a bad idea to buy a house. Interest rates are very low. Uh, the market has been increasing both in terms of sales volume, but especially in prices. The real problem here, especially in Silicon Valley, but really everywhere has been inventory. So inventory is down about 30% year over year. Basically, banks stopped foreclosing on folks last year. And so nobody else has picked up the slack. It used to be that all the homes on the market were foreclosures. And now we've got to get regular people to sell their house. And when we meet with them and say, hey, do you want to sell your house? They say, well, I could get more if I rented it out. Or why would I sell at the bottom? And we say, that's an excellent point. And so the people who are trying to buy are in a real jam. There's just not enough stuff to buy. That's driving prices up a little bit, I think a little bit too much in places like Phoenix. Uh, but basically, the market is on the mend. Good oh stuff. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. You're an important guy. You've got your phone ringing. I don't want to answer it. I don't want people to see me like this. I just screwed up and I forgot to turn it off. Can That's we okay. We'll cut that out. Interview? We will totally cut that out. It's, it's fine. Or we'll keep it in. You're, no, you're a busy man. No, you've no, got, I'm just going to turn it off. Calls. It's fine. No, it's my brother. Oh, it's your brother. Jeez. Um, Sorry, Wes.
Sorry, Wes, he'll call you back. Um, so last question here then, we'll, we'll tie it up. Um, what's on your you know, to-do list for, for 2013? Oh my goodness, I wish I'd thought about that. I mean, we have all these top secret juicy projects and I don't know if I wanna give away the farm right now. Oh. I think the big thing, the big thing is not to do just more listings on a map, but to take the rest of the process and make it really cool and really special so that the first time you meet a Redfin agent, or the first time you get into escrow, or the first time you list a property, it's just this awesome, different, super cool experience. And the fact that more software is running on mobile devices just makes it a lot easier for us to do that. Um, so real estate is just a really good market if uh, you're actually showing people houses and writing offers. There's a lot you can do with mobile. Sounds good. Well, Glenn Kelman from Redfin, Thanks. thank you for stopping by.